Welcome to this XPath tutorial and CSS selectors tutorial. What is XPath? XPath stands for XML path. Why is XPath used? XPath language is used by the browser to find elements on the web page. A particular XPath can have XPath axis like child or descendant. The thing to remember is that in XPath syntax, two forward slashes mean self or descendant. At the rate means an attribute. Now CSS stands for cascading style sheets. CSS selectors are used by the browser to match tags and attributes. In understanding CSS selectors, know that CSS selectors are case sensitive. A CSS selector like H1 can find all elements on the web page that are header 1. In CSS, hash means ID and a single dot means class name. Now how to create XPath or CSS selector for your test automation locators. You may use the browser's developer tools or selectors hub tool. This is the Selectors Hub website and the Selectors Hub add-on is available for all the browsers. So I installed it on my Firefox browser. So let us go to my blog which is software testing space. And in my blog there is a demo web application. So click on this demo web application link and let us say that I have to find the locator in my test automation script for this distance text box. So what I can do is I can use dev tools which is developer tools right click and click on the inspect button. Here I can also open selectors hub. Now for this distance text box, what I can do is I can try to get the XPath for that. So right click, copy and XPath. Now there is a search HTML here and it is showing this XPath, two forward slashes and the at the rate symbol is for the attribute. ID attribute is distance. So I can copy it from here and if I want to see other options I can paste it here press enter and selectors hub gives more information it says one element is matching and it gives different options here for relative CSS selector, CSS selector types and relative XPath index xpath and so on. Now the trouble that I face on this web page is for this calculate travel days button. So let me select this one and here this button does not have a clear id or class or name. So I can try to copy xpath here and paste it in dev tools. Now it is a long xpath and it is an absolute xpath because it starts with a single forward slash. Now if I use this in my test automation script then what is going to happen is if there is any change in the hierarchy of these elements then this selector will not work. So I can use selectors hub here and press enter it says one element matching and it is showing relative CSS selector relative XPath so let me select this one and by single click it copies it there so here this is far shorter it is two forward slashes button normalize space is equal to calculate travel days so basically in this case 
selectors hub is giving a shorter relative x path i can also use developer tools or selectors hub to count by tag name so let us say i want to count how many h2 or header 2 tags are there so i type two forward slashes h2 and press enter so this is saying one of nine and in selectors hub i can try to do the same thing so h2 and press enter so this is also saying nine elements matching now on the selectors hub website there is a link for practice page so i am going to click on that link and here on the practice page there are many web elements so you can practice finding out the selectors for these web elements so let us say that i want to find out the selector for this username box here so if i use developer tools right click and click on inspect so it is uh, showing something i can copy xpath and now the problem with dev tools is that it says search html so it is not specifically looking for a locator and press enter I, i've just copied it and it says no matches now let me open selectors hub so selectors hub is a little more verbose so if i paste this xpath here it says invalid css selector and xpath doesn't support shadow dom because this element is inside a shadow dom so what are the so relative css selector so let us uh, copy this and try it in developer tools still it says no matches and if i type it here and it says one element matching so in such cases where the element is inside the shadow dom so we can use the css selector and that css selector is uh, found out by uh, the selectors hub tool now if you remember so in uh, the css so basically the hash means the id and here we can see that this is the id now let us uh, try with something else so let us say this one so i'm selecting this enter email and right click here and copy the xpath here and paste it here so it says one of one if i make a mistake so for example i remove this bracket here and press enter it says no matches so let me copy this from here paste it here and press enter so selectors hub as before we can see it's verbose it says invalid xpath and close square bracket is missing put this one and it says one element matching so overall i found selectors hub to be more useful than the developer tools but it is your choice for writing xpath or css selector for test automation like selenium test automation you can use developer tools or you can use selectors hub so that's all in this short xpath and css selectors tutorial and thank you very much and see you in my other videos